Hello, my name is Richard. I'm a sewer sluice. Today I'm at property address 14085 Southeast Raspberry Court in uh, Milwaukee, Oregon. It's a duplex. Uh, first time we were out here, we could not find a clean out. The owner happened to know where it was. It was buried. You can see where they dug down. Uh, we just flushed the toilet inside one of the units. Uh, did confirm activity coming through the pipe, so we're going to advance out. We will get the other unit uh, water running as well, just to confirm that everything ties in together. We're going to go ahead and advance out. Okay, it does transition over to uh, cast iron, which is pretty common for a 70s uh, built residence. So we're going to continue in this cast iron pipe. Okay, right here at 21 feet, it transitions over from cast iron to concrete. The transition from cast to concrete looks good. There's no root intrusion or offsets. It's a smooth transition. We'll continue on in the concrete to the lateral here. Okay, it looks like there is some settling in the concrete portion here. We don't even have water running and um, you can see it's submerged under water here. See if there's some kind of blockage that's um, creating this pooling or not. Okay, there's the main here at 44 feet. We're going to flush the toilet several times here, try to clear the line and see how the flow is to the lateral. Okay, we're flushing some toilet uh, here to see how the flow is out to the main because there is uh, some standing water in the concrete portion uh, out in the street leading to the lateral. We'll see how strong the flow is here coming its way. There it is. Did that work for you? Yes, thank you. Should be all done now. Alright, I just want to make sure, you know, if you need anything, let me know. Yes, please. Okay, we have a, a second flush coming on its way from the uh, farther unit back. So uh, I am confirming that everything's tied into one sewer here and exiting out 44 feet to the main out in the street. After this flush gets here, I'm going uh, to uh, give an opportunity for everything to drain out and then take a closer look at some of that standing water that was in the concrete pipe. It does look like there's uh, possibly some settling. Okay, the uh, second flush is on its way. It just came through the clean out from the far unit. So I'm going to let it drain out for a moment and then pull back the camera and try to determine uh, how much standing water is in this pipe to see if um, 
there's a concern of a belly where it could create a backup in the future and it needs to be uh, repaired or if it's just um, less than a half, in half inch to an inch of standing water in the pipe. Um, we may just uh, mention that there's a little bit of a flat spot in the grade. And it does seem to be draining decently out to the main here. So I'm going to give it about another 30 seconds of um, record time and then start pulling back. So it does look like there were some toiletries in the line here that was causing possibly some of this standing water. Yeah, each time I pull back and see the camera, some of that standing water is just from some uh, toilet paper in the line, debris in there. So it doesn't appear to have any kind of major settling going on. There is a little bit of standing water at the bottom of the flow line. Some of that is created from the toilet paper. And there might be um, a couple little flat spots where there's not a large drop in slope and grade that's uh, leading to the main. But uh, in my opinion, there's no need for any kind of repair at this time in the pipe. We're transitioning back to the cast iron portion. And they, all the cast iron look good. There's just uh, some toilet paper hung up in the uh, concrete, maybe a little bit of standing water, about a half inch, um, where it's kind of a flat spot in the slope and grade. But you can see from the toilet flushes from both units that everything's draining and functioning properly.